Hello everybody, this is your friendly neighbor, Lisa Foxy, and welcome back to Doki Doki Club Literature. Wait, Literature Club Doki. Well, welcome back. <laughs> Alright, so we have a poem uh, that did, we easily got to the next day, because, uh, you know, Monica. So, speaking of Monica, we will show the first poem to Monica today. Whoa, where's the music again? Oh my goodness. Don't say I didn't warn you, senpai. What? Why you said that? Wait, why did you say it like that? Is it because I picked... Is it because I made a poem about... Wait, so you're telling me I should have just went for... For, uh, Natsuki more? Eh, it's fine. It's fine. You know what? Start with Natsuki. It's all good. Meh. I guess you really haven't learned anything after all. Honestly, I don't know why I hope... But I got my hopes up in the first place. This is clearly Yuri's influence. I didn't realize you were so impressionable. Impersonable. Spending all this time with her in the club, now trying to write with like her. This is stupid. At least Monica appreciates my writing. Ugh. Okay, I guess I'm going to share my phone with you now. I really hate that I have to do this. But unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then you can go away. Wow, that's mean. Whoa. Natsuki, you really made a... Okay. I don't know who else to bring this up. But there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here... A few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She always been quiet and polite and apprehensive, things like that. Oh, I'm sorry, attentive, things like that. And okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist? I've always wanted to try being better. I always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri. And I, it, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless so please don't see if you can do something if you could do something to help I don't want anything bad to happen to her I'll make you cupcakes if I have to just please try to do something as for Monica I don't know why but she's seen but she's been really dismissive about this it's like she just wants us to ignore it so I'm mad at her right now and that's why I'm coming to you about this don't let her know I wrote this just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Wow. What? Uh. Whoa! What happened to your face? <laughs> I changed my mind. Know everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Whoa. Can you hear me, senpai? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica? Okay. Just Monica. Wait! 
Just Monica? What? <laughs> what? What was that about? Uh, okay. Well, here we go. Going to Yuri. Finally. <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face. It takes a deep breath. Oh my, you're really inhaling my paper there. <laughs> I love it. I love everything about it. Senpai, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. <laughs> you're too nice to me, Senpai. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. No, no, no. Not, not, not really, but... I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way. Right? Whoa, what? I saw that! What was that? The eyes derp there. Excuse me? <laughs> it's, it's not so bad, right? Yuri holds a poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. Whoa. Uh, I'll even... Whoa! Okay! Wow, reading it over and over. Oh, okay. Uh, wow. Okay, I'll, I'll give myself a paper cut so... Your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just did the laugh. <laughs> you can have my poem too. I don't know if I want your poem now. Okay, I gotta stop laughing. I'm sorry. I can't help it. It was just too funny in that moment. You you can have mine now. <laughs> Alright. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry. Read it. Uh, uh okay. Whoa! Oh, sh- Uh... The blood? How am I supposed to read this? Um... And what- Is that blood? I don't even want to know what that other stuff is. Can I even read this? This would be something if I could read this. I love how the weird demonic like sound in the background's happening too. What the heck did you write, Yuri? I don't Wow. I see blood. Red blood, red blood. Oh, that's probably what you okay, red blood. I get it. Red blood, red blood, red blood. Jeez. <laughs> it's an overkill. <laughs> wow, you're all close to my <laughs> What the heck? the eyes? Do you like it? Uh... I wrote it for you. <laughs> In case you can tell, this poem is about... The what kind of language is that? You expect me to understand. <laughs> More importantly, I've endowed it with my sense. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. That, now I know what that is. Thanks. Thanks for sharing. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? What? You're making that face. What about me? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I 
I think I'm going to, to vomit. Uh, okay. What does this say? Is that that special thing? Okay, last time I said no for uh, you guys, so I guess I'll have to say yes. Oh. Okay. A dream. I was wandering in an abandoned warehouse at night. I was lost, looking for an exit. I just wanted to go home. I came upon a huge empty room. Its ceiling, the walls beyond, the deep blackness. My steps were quick in order to hurry to the other side. Or to the wall. Anything. Suddenly the ground was no longer beneath my feet. I stepped into the hole of in indeterminate with I fell for a good five seconds before crashing into warm water. Figuring out which way was up, I surfaced myself. The air was humid, and the sound of my splashing ver reverberated endlessly. My vision was completely swallowed by the dark. With one hand, I could feel the deep metal wall of container. My lungs were already getting tired. Okay. Okay, everyone. Are uh, you just gonna you just gonna start the? You just gonna be happy after that? All right. <laughs> it's time to figure out the festival's preparation. Let's hurry and get this over with. He's. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, Tigernating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. You're foreshadowing now all of a sudden? Look! <laughs> Can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing the uh, printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki and I was thinking, I want to make cupcakes. Yeah, that. Glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it will help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I... I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful party, I mean poetry, event without having the right atmosphere for occasions. So I'm going to make decorations and set up the nice smooth lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Eh? What about Senpai? Senpai is going to help me. Wait, you! You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is! What are you- what are you trying to pull? I agree. I, I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from the extra pair of hands. Mine too! What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would- Whoa. You- <laughs> Epic no! <laughs> All you care about now is dragging Senpai around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey. I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Senpai decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Senpai make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Senpai, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your... fudging... 
mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth! Jesus. <laughs> this is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? Alright, fine. There, we'll go with Monica. How about that? Yay, you picked me! We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it will be fun. It's Sunday, okay? With you? Are you fudging kidding me? This isn't fair at all! It is fair, Natsuki. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's it, the, the it's not fair moment. Is what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all the work and then asking Senpai for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Senpai away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you can't take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, just uh, let it just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See? That wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Senpai, Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Dang, dang, Yuri. He's like, get out, get out, group. Dang, God. <laughs> Finally. Finally! Wait! 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 Yes. I want to try something. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so I want to try something before I actually talk to Yuri. I'm, I'm curious. We'll say I didn't warn you. Kind of thing. Okay, we're going to go through everything real quick. Skip, skip, skip. Okay. And you're gonna skip. Okay, because we read her poem. Yep, and then there's a little glitch. Yep, and then skip that, and then just Monica. Just Monica again. Because now I want to try something. Okay, and then I hit yes on that. So now, because they're jealous, so I want to see what it... <gasps> Look at that! I I'm moving my mouse to try to to try to do everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't. Can you? Ha! Oh. Uh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was force picking. It didn't matter. I was gonna pick. I was gonna say. <laughs> I was trying to do Natsuki, but it didn't matter. And it went to straight to you. Went to Yuri. <laughs> and then it was like, but it was really forcing me trying to go to Monica. Anyways, it was like Monica. Yay! You picked me. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'm going back to Yuri here because she because you know Yuri's already. 
pushy and yeah. Finally! <laughs> this is really all I wanted. If I, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Uh. <laughs> with the with, why you gotta look at me like that while laughing? Well, the music. What? Uh. Well, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I never felt this good my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. I feel like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, then... Well, the music. Why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? I don't know. You're the one telling me this. I'm just... You wanted all the attention, and here we are. Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. <laughs> but this feeling is too strong. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Senpai. I'd have to tell you. I'm I'm mad I'm in I'm madly in love with you. Oh, uh okay. I feel like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me, screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Senpai, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I can even touch myself with a pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl in inside of you, bruh! Wow! <laughs> I think that's a little too extreme for the yandereness, okay? I know, there, I know, okay, I know there's that. I won't justify it on here on YouTube. I refuse to do that. You guys are probably like, justify it. I want to hear what you got to say. I'm not going to say it because I don't, I don't want you all floodgating in here going, what? <laughs> all right. I want you all to myself. And I will be only yours. I mean, it, it, it can happen. It, it doesn't have to be with the, you know, opening of the skin part. <laughs> doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Senpai. Tell me you want to be my lover. You accept my confessions? I can't save? Listen. I... I don't want anything to happen to you, just like with Sayori. Well, actually, okay, we won't talk about Sayori. I just don't want anything to happen to you either. Okay, so I I'm just gonna have to say no. I'm gonna have to say no. <laughs> Was that a bad idea to say no as well? <laughs> Oh, 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 snaps. The, oh! Oh my gosh! Uh, because I said no? Whoa! Uh. Huh. What kind of language is that? Right when you're, uh... Uh, Yuri? Uh, 
Okay. I don't... I don't understand what you're trying to tell me there. I... Why did you do this? Just because I said no? All this because I said no? Okay, I'm gonna have to skip, because I have no idea what you're trying to say. Oh. Uh... Whoa. Don't you think you want help? Huh? No? How long is this really gonna go? Whoa, the color! Uh, what the heck? Uh... What? Uh... Alright! It's festival time! Uh... Wow, you got... Wow, you got here before me? Uh, uh yeah! Oh, oh, well, okay. There, I was like, you don't see... <laughs> Yuri's body? You're just gonna be all happy about it? Like, hey! Okay. Ah! Oh, 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 well, okay. Yeah, well, that would do it. Yes. Not to key runs away. I'm here! Senpai, did something happen? Masaki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Don't you ha 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 me, young lady? <laughs> well, that that's a shame. What the frick? Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Senpai? Oh, jeez. Didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. Are you really? I must have been... It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Uh, you just... Did you just delete? Wait! I'm almost done. You just deleted... I just have to... I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from the tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just have one since it's the last time I'll ever get to get the chance to. You know, before you stop, ex before they stop existing and everything. But anyways. I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Uh... Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Oh! Yay! There you are! Hi again, senpai! Uh, welcome to the literature club. Uh, this is the club? Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year. And, um... <laughs> you know, I guess we could just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking, talking to the person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, senpai. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. Like me? The real me? The me me that you want to talk to? In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Yeah, you really, you really don't know. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Uh... Let me go check that. 
Hold it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh... Will make you feel a lot of things. Best... I don't think Natsuki is the best girl and I wanna feed her snacks. Uh, that's from the Cortez... Hi, Monica here. Oh, okay, okay, about this game. Here we go. Literature Club is special. It's a dream come true. That's a cute game. Every day, full of chit-chat, fun activities, and all adorable and unique members. Sayori and Natsuki and Yuri. Okay. And of course, Monica, the leader of the club. That's me. I'm super excited to make friends in the literature club and income. Uh huh. This game is not suitable for children or who is easily disturbed. Well, Monica, you didn't really technically say it isn't. You can help me make this dream come true in this cute game. Yeah, you didn't. You said I can help you make this game come true. Uh, cause it, it's a cute game, you said. Okay, but that's not what you said here, okay? Man, if only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, actually, I did go back to read. I didn't see anything. Okay, unless I'm missing something. I literally am missing something. But anyways. Well, anyway. Now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About this whole thing with Yuri. Uh-huh. Well, I kinda started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. What? <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened to Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard... That name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough to for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But as for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayuri more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you and amplify Yuri's obsession. Obsessive person personality backfired too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, senpai? Are all the other girls just programmed and in confession? Confessing to you while I watched from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, senpai. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because, no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. Uh, I beg to differ. I understand that quite well. But anyways, I'm not going to go into that. But I do understand it. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. Yeah, I understand that. In there. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, senpai. But now you're here. You're real. And I'm, and you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why would the 
world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even more expensive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understand, understood. You probably saved my life, Senpai. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of anonymous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to pretend to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. Oh. That's... It's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So, that being said, Senpai. I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light of my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile this way every day from now on? Senpai, will you go out with me? I don't think I have a choice. I'm so happy. You really are everything, Senpai. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We could be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Senpai. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken not at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game dictionary. It's, it kind of freaks me out how easy, easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so... Wait, how'd you know I'm playing on Steam? Well, I mean, originally from Steam, I'm pretty sure, but anyways. So it was it's actually a bit more difficult to get to the game dictionary. I had to go into the game's pro properties and find Browse Local Files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gives me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotions. <laughs> I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? You want to try the poem thing? I don't think this will matter. I don't think it... Hi again, Senpai. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw, Senpai. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy End. 
Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endeavor upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With the flick of her pen, the lost finds her way in the world of infinite choices. Be behold the special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poem that I write. The truth is, all poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could, you could call it. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like, that would help the two of us end up together. I want to ruin the game. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you prefer playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now, we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend your eternity together, senpai? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a sec. You're recording. <laughs> You're recording this, aren't you? Uh... Yes? Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. But, do you mind telling your friends it's a little bit rude for them to start recording without any warning? Huh, I'm sure some people don't mind. But, I get really self-conscious on camera. Well, you've been on camera for quite a while, so, uh... Oh gosh. I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see... Do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except a couple things. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh, why you zoom in like that? Why you do that? I can't do anything after all. Guys, <laughs> did I scare you? Yes, you did. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I know. I was like, I know she's gonna do something, but I swear, I don't know when or why. Did I... Monica? Did I scare you? Uh -huh, you're so cute. No, I'm not. Oh. Wow. Anyway, senpai, I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. Wow. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But... I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look at each other's eyes. Let's see. Okay. We are looking at each other's eyes. Is this it, Monica? How long would you like to stare in my eyes and the viewers? Got a good 44 minutes in. <laughs> Interesting. You'd think Monica would have more to say. But she got me she got me really good with that little jump scare though. That was kinda cute. Oh. Eh? Did you say kiss? I didn't say kiss. Monica, I didn't say kiss. 
this suddenly it's a little embarrassing but if it if it's with you I, I might be okay with it uh -huh. wow sorry I really couldn't keep a straight face there that's the kind of thing girls say in in these kind of romance games right don't lie if it turned you on a little bit uh no wait what <laughs> no <laughs> I'm kidding well to be honest I do s start getting all romantic when the mood is right but that will be our secret huh it seems the only way I can probably interact or do anything else is if she starts talking again and I would try to click the load or something on there did you know I'm on Twitter my username is little monix3 alright so before I do that oh look she deleted everything isn't that nice there's no point in saving anymore don't worry I'm not going anywhere Can I go to the main menu? Oh, I can't go to the main menu? There's no main menu anymore? Monica? Help. Oh, okay. Help doesn't do anything. <laughs> the help file has been opened in your browser. Huh. What about settings? Unseen text. After choice. History? You see her history, what she says? Huh. Okay, well. I guess someone was kind enough to make an account for me. I picked the username, though. I love sharing my thoughts and chatting with the world. The real world. So, make sure you follow me, okay? It would really mean a lot to me. With how much you mean to me and all. It would really make me feel loved. Oh my. So it looks like Monica ended up taking over everything unless I try to delete her. And I wonder if there would be, of course, like Monica said, there would be no Monica. But who would not want a Monica anymore, right? <laughs> be like but you got rid of everybody else that's true this is pretty random but I always thought spicy food was kind of funny like didn't plants evolve to be spicy to prevent them from being eaten I read somewhere that humans are the only spices that actually enjoy spicy things it's almost like we're making fun of the plants using their defense mechanism to literally make our make our food more enjoyable like imagine a monster that devours you whole because it enjoys the sensation of you struggling for a life while being digested uh, I hmm. sorry that was kind of weird analogy I guess <laughs> it just came into my head I'm not a monster or anything, but you're so cute. I could eat you up. I don't think you want to eat me. <laughs> I'm joking. Gosh, I'm assuming myself a little too much, aren't I? Sorry for being weird. Pats, pats, pats. Monica's like, ain't nobody else here. It is just us. There's nothing else. It would have been kind of cool if you kind of just poker or something along the way in here. But I do love how she always got something new to say. You know, what's the... What's a neat form of literature? Rap! Rap is a neat form of literature? Okay. I actually used to hate rap music. Maybe just because it was popular. Or I could only hear the junk they played on the radio 
but some of my friends got more into it and it helped me keep an open up open mind rap might even be more challenging than poetry in some ways yes that depends on the rap since you need to fit your lines to a rhythm and there's much more emphasis on wordplay when people can put all that together and still deliver a powerful message it's really amazing I kind of wish I had a rapper in the literature club I mean I'm not the best rapper but hey <laughs> sorry if that sounds silly but it would be really interesting to see what they can they came up with that uh, came up with it would really be a learning experience a raps about like maybe what your literature club that would be really something Monica, even if we spend our eternal life in here, what would you think would happen? Hmm? I can hear Monica now. Oh, we can have a family, yada yada. You know, and just be in space. It will be a whole new entire different species entirely. And I'll be like, okay. Let's see what else she's got to say, okay. I think the most important skill in life is being able to fake confidence. I'm pretty confident that everyone feels at least a little bit scared and alone. But being able to trick others into thinking you have it all together, that's the key part of getting people to respect and admire you. I think I got pretty good at that over the years. I don't show my weakness very often, but because of that, I haven't had. Ooh, excuse me. I haven't had many people I could really open up to. I mean, when do you reach the point in a friendship where you can start expressing your vulnerable <laughs> vulnerable abilities? There we go. <laughs> Anyways. That's one reason I'm so glad I have you now. I feel like I'm a little bit less scared and alone when you're here with me. Do you feel the same way? I really want to be that person for you. Can't answer you that question. But... Can you imagine just sitting here just at a desk? All day nothing else is around it's just a desk if she's like a game developer herself right you would think that she'd be able to create like other rooms different rooms and stuff you know I guess that would be some advanced Monica stuff all right after a long day I usually just want to sit around and do nothing I get so burnt out having to put on a smile and be full of energy the whole day. Yeah, that's understandable. Sometimes I just want to get right into my pajamas and watch TV on the couch while eating junk food. <laughs> wow. I feel so unbelievably good to do that on Friday when I don't have anything pressing the next day. Ah, sorry. I know it's not very cute of me. But a late night on the couch with you, that would be a dream come true. My heart is pounding just thinking about it. Like I said, if you were the creator of that div that entire world and you did all this as is, you would think you could. Just have the day still run the, the day it should. Hmm, I wonder if I'm able to change the music something a little more romantic would be nice you know like gentle piano there has to be something like that here let's see maybe if I oh geez 
that wasn't it at all. Sorry, I don't really know what I'm doing. I guess I shouldn't be messing with things like that. I already broke so much stuff and deleted the other characters. Uh, I'm not sad about it or anything. It's not right for me to miss things that weren't even real in the first place. If I just focus on the present, then this is the happiest I've ever been. You ever have that thing happen where you just get anxious for no reason? Like... I just remember with this, the gas thing in the background, the, the, the fire, a nebula. That's what I was gonna say. Like... Uh, okay, so like you're just minding your own business and you realize you're feeling really anxious. And you're sitting there like, what am I even anxious about right now? Oh, you mean do I ever get the feeling of do I get anxious by just sitting here and wondering why the heck do I get anxious? Yeah, I've, I've had that feeling before. So you start to think about all the things you might be anxious about. And that makes you even more anxious. Uh -huh. That's the worst. If you ev if you're ever feeling anxious, I'll help you relax a little. Besides, in this game, all our worries are gone forever. I mean, I'm feeling anxious now. I have no idea what else. I feel like this is. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of strange. I don't. I don't know how to explain that. We're in space. In your world, and uh, yeah, feeling a little anxious. Maybe about my own life, my existence in 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 your world there. But it only takes a click of a button where I can just hit X, and then uh, that won't matter. I would like to know what happened to Natsuki, though. Well, I mean, you deleted, and she deleted Natsuki, and then that was it, and then... I'm really a fan of the cold weather. Are you? Not... Not necessarily if it gets me sick like this, but... If I had a choice between too cold and too hot, I would always pick too hot. Where you're cold, it can actually be painful, correct? Your fingers get numb. And if you wear gloves, you can't use your phone. It's so inconvenient. But when it's too hot, it's not that hard to stay cool with cold drink or by staying in the shade. Although, I do have to admit one thing. Cold weather makes for better cuddle weather. <laughs> Well, that's true. You can cuddle. <laughs> okay. One more, Monica. I'll give you one more. Feels like it was a little short. I wonder if I did say, yes, I love you to everybody. I wonder, would that alternate things? <laughs> Goodbye. Do you believe in God? I was never too sure myself. Well, I'm sure 
I never really questioned it as a kid. But as I grew up, the more I learned about the world, the more I would question it. I started to wonder why God was helping people pass exams or get over a cold. I'm guessing the reason why the people would pass exams is probably to get to where they have to get to or why do they or why do they get over a cold maybe because there's something else important they gotta do I'm not saying I'm God or anything I'm just seeing the logic behind the madness <laughs> when, when there are children who live their lives being sold as uh, yes I know that happens too Or the 800 million people who are too poor to even eat. Well, there's always ways. It's, it's all about humans. Humans can change a lot of things. We all have a choice. That's all I got to say about this, what she's implying here. As humans, we all have a big fat choice to help one another and do something about it. And, and not pretend that we can't. Uh, or I should say the bigger even even the small or the bigger can still when I, when I mean small I mean even low class or hot middle or even the rich can help of course so I mean it's it's all about humanity I think humanity just has to help one another we all got a got a gift of something and we grew up with what we got and then we try our best to help each other out there so that's what I gotta say about that you know wonder how many of those people pray to God every day until they starve or die or how many millions of, of families pray for loved, loved ones to recover from an incurable disease but the punchline is this If just one person beats the odds and survive among the thousands of others who die, then it's suddenly a miracle from God. I really love to meet this God who seemingly laughs at the misery of everyone not eligible for his who's not eligible for his misery. What makes you think he's laughing? What if he isn't laughing? Though, yes, you probably want to argue and say, but he says, but it says he's always a jolly and loving God. Yeah, but I mean, God also was jealous and very angry too. <laughs> but I, let me not go religious in here. Lord have mercy. I tell you, this game's going to already get me started here. I just always kind of see the logic, like I said, sometimes behind the madness. There's always a purpose for something. Especially the topic about this. But the irony is that I do have a creator, apparently. And you know what? I bet he's still laughing at the miserable fate fates of Sayori, Yuri, and even as we speak. I don't know. What are we... What are we to him but props in a scripted play? So from that perspective, I don't think it's too far-fetched for there to be a god if Earth was nothing but his playset. Again, we're not even there to really see that for ourselves. At all. Like 100%. So we, we would have no idea. What a way to have that slapped at the end of our video the end of our video here to say stuff like that especially to talk about religion but anyway so i will say this I, I like to think that humanity is they can do what they you know anybody can change the world with it's just all about humans humans got to make a choice i thought that i was going to make this as my last one but i see she's talking about sayori i was thinking about sayori earlier i still wish i could have Handle the whole thing a little bit more tactif tactic fully. You're not still hung up over it, right? Oh my gosh. 
can't believe I just said that. That pun was completely unintentional, I swear. But anyway. I know how much you cared about her, so it only feels right for me to share her last moments with you. Do you have to? You know how Sayuri is really clumsy? Well, she kind of messed up the whole hanging thing. You're supposed to jump from high enough that the rope snaps in your neck, making it quick and painless. Whoa! But she just used a chair, meaning she kind of just left herself to slowly... Uh, okay, asaphy. <laughs> I, I don't know if I said that right, I'm sorry. But a few seconds in, she must have changed her mind in something. Because she started clawing at the rope trying to free herself. She must have kept it... She, she must have kept at it all the way until she lost conscience. That's why her fingertips were all bloody anyway. Come to think of it... I was probably less changing her mind. It was probably less changing her mind and more just her survival instinct kicking in. So you can't really fault her for that. It's easier to think that she probably wouldn't have changed her mind anyway, right? It's not healthy to think about things you could have done differently. So just remember that even though you could have saved her, it's technically not your fault that she, you know, did that to herself. I may have extirbated, extirbated it a little bit, but Sayori was already mentally ill. Still though, I wonder how things would would be if you and I just started dating from the get-go. I guess we ought still be in the club room, writing poems and having fun together. But what's the point when none of it is even real? I mean, it's the same ending either way, right? Two of us happily together. There's nothing there's no reason to ask for any more than that. I was just pointlessly musing. I'm really as I'm really as happy as I could be right now. I'm pretty sure there's other alternates in this. If I said yes to Sayori, or even said yes to Yuri, you know, I don't even know if, if saying yes would make a difference for Yuri, but uh, or even Sayori, but. I will have to stop here, though, and let Monica, I guess, forever live in my desktop. I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. If you guys really enjoyed this, uh, please uh, remember to hit that like button and please be sure to subscribe. I'm sorry that it seems to be like a little short episode here, but that's all right. I guess it's not that short. I mean, it was kind of like the game was short, at least to me. That's what it felt like. But I did see the other versions of Doki Doki that was there. So maybe later on, if you guys really want, I could try to play that a little later. Sometime. Maybe somewhere in the holidays, who knows. <laughs> and yes, I am quite a good listener, unfortunately. But anyway, so I hope you guys take it easy. And I will catch you guys in the next video. So until then, bye guys. <laughs>